Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to Three Kids in a Home. I am Tiffany and today we are finally making our way outside for a spring refresh. I love to wait until pollen season has died down because as you can see, pollen gets everywhere here in North Carolina. This front porch is a mess, but I'm going to get everything sprayed down, wiped down, blow down, and we are going to get it looking back good out here. So you all stay tuned with me if you want to see what the final look looks like. So the first thing that I'm going to do is just remove everything off of the porch because I'm going to be spraying it all down. I am also going to be giving the porch a nice scrub. I mean, look at all of this pollen on this table. Look how thick that is. This is why I like to wait until pollen season has died down because otherwise all of my work would be in vain and I don't want to have to do anything twice. To get everything clean, the only thing I'm doing is just taking a water hose and spraying everything down with plain water. I mean, you all can't really see it, but this the pollen was just falling off in streams of yellow. I mean, it was ridiculous. Whenever I am outside doing yard work or doing decorating for the season, I like to be in something that's comfortable and that I don't mind getting messed up. I am usually outside all day when I'm doing this. As you can see here, I even started at 8 o'clock in the morning. I called myself trying to beat the sun, but as you are going to see, that sun is going to very quickly come out. So while I am allowing the furniture to dry, I'm just going to go ahead and give the porch a, a nice little spray down. I'm lightly going to give all of my siding a spray down as well, but not too much. We were supposed to get the home pressure wash, but it has been raining here in North Carolina, and so we weren't able to do it in time for this video. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Once I spray everything down with water, I am just going to go back over the porch with a mild bleach and water solution just to help kind of lift up the grime off of the patio and then go over it with a scrub brush. So while I'm waiting on my front porch to dry, I'm going to go ahead and head out to the stores to pick up some plants and a few other decor pieces. So my first stop is Lowe's and I was able to find a few things. So I did grab these coleus plants. These are ready to go container plants. So all I have to do is just drop them in. And I love coleuses because they are so very easy to maintain. And then I also picked up these other yellow florals, which I can't remember what the name of them were. And then also some of these African marigolds, which are probably going to end up going in my backyard. So my next stop after Lowe's was Walmart and I absolutely love Walmart for their inexpensive outside decor. I mean look at these five dollar throw pillows. I think I'm going to go ahead and end up going with these yellow ones for the look that I'm going for. The final stop was the at home store. I picked up a rug and a few other things to go in front of my door. So now that everything has been picked up, I am back to the house for the major labor, which is the planting and mulching. So when it comes to planting, I don't really have much of a green thumb. And so I will usually choose plants that are able to basically take care of themselves. And that can also tolerate full sun because my yard does get a lot of that. Now these florals are only, they are annuals and so they aren't meant to last which is good so I don't really have to do a lot of maintenance for them so the only thing that I'm doing is just placing them around my tree and then I'm going to be scooping out some of this old mulch so that it doesn't pile up so high because I'm going to replace it with a with some new mulch just so it can have that pop of brown color So as you can see, that sun did come out. It was still before noon when I was doing this part. So the temperature had it climbed too high and it was only predicted to be 79 for the high today. So it was relatively mild. However, all of the moving made everything feel much more intense than what it was. 
If you are new to my channel, I just want to say welcome to you all. I am Tiffany and on this channel you will find all things home decor, cleaning, DIY, and organization. We do have three young children and a dog in this home, so while we like to keep things beautiful, we also like to keep it simple enough to enjoy. So if you like to see that sort of thing, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. We would love to have you here. And if you are already subscribed to my channel, I hope that everyone is well and I thank you all so much from the bottom of my heart heart for your support all right so here is the tree with fresh flowers and fresh mulch not a lot of maintenance needed for this but it gives it a nice spring look and then off camera my husband did go ahead and lay some fresh mulch in our main flower bed we don't ever get too crazy with this area because simply put all you need sometimes is just bushes and a fresh pop of mulch just to give everything that nice clean look in the front without going overboard So now that the hard part is out of the way, I'm moving on to my favorite part, which is decorating. So on my front porch, I'm going to start by adding this 5x7 rug that I used on my back patio last spring. So I'm just moving it up to the front. I picked it up from Walmart last year, and I believe they actually still sell it. So if I can find the link, I'll put it in the description below. The next thing that I'm just going to do is just give a dusting to this rug because I did basically put it straight from the patio up into storage last year so I'm going to go ahead and add my furniture back this patio set I've had since 2018 shortly after we moved into this home and it is so durable it has lasted all of this time there's still no damage to it I ordered it from walmart.com and it came with these two rocking chairs and the bistro table in the middle it did originally come with green cushions however I have switched them out this year for these tan cushions they look more gray in the video but they're actually a tan color so this is what it looks like so far and this is a vibe all on its own but now I'm going to go ahead and add in the solid yellow throw pillows that I picked up from Walmart earlier they tie in with the yellow flowers that are planted around my tree and I also love that they add a pop of color to this area without being too busy and taking away from the rug Moving on, I'm going to be placing this beautiful green and cream throw rug down that you saw me pick up from the at-home store earlier. I'm actually not going to put any sort of welcome mat over it. I'm going to let it stand all on its own because it is simply beautiful enough and it ties in so well with the rug that is sitting underneath my chairs. To my door, I'm going to be adding in this beautiful wreath that I found at the at-home store. It is a cream, but it does have pops of yellow in it. It's a very subtle yellow, which I thought would tie in wonderfully with the pillows. And then also, I'm going to be adding in these planners that also came from the at-home store. Now because I'm using drop-in containers, I'm just going to place a piece of cardboard inside of the planter to give it the height that is needed. That way I don't have to use a bunch of soil to fill up the container and make it really heavy to drag around. I'm just going to drop the container right on in there. As I stated earlier, I absolutely love Coley's plants. I love them for all the different varieties and colors that they have, but also because they last a really long time and they are virtually maintenance free. Well, usually when I get these, they last me well into the winter, you all, and I don't have to do much, just water it a few times and they just grow right on by themselves and they grow really big also. 
The next thing that I'm going to be adding is this welcome sign. I picked this up last year from Big Lots and I originally was going to use it in my screen decor last year but I decided to go with a different look and so it's just been sitting in my garage this entire time. And then the very last thing that I'm going to add is this lantern. I found this at Target and yes that candle actually does work. It's battery operated. So here is the final look you all and I just love how everything came together the yellows the greens and the natural elements just pulls everything together so well you all make sure that you check out my other spring decorate with me videos and then if you all want to see more spring decorate with me videos I will be moving to my backyard next week as I still have my outdoor back patio to do as well as my extended patio so if you all don't want to miss it make sure you hit subscribe and turn that notification bell on as always Thank you all so much for walking, watching with me. I hope you all have a blessed week and I will see you next time.